minority leader stated that because that should be the correct attitude instead of dismissing this as something that is uh, negligible or something that should not be mentioned in his sonar. My demanded of this presentation retired from the MWSS. I spent my youth, my teenage years, and even my part of my adult years observing my mother who rose uh, from the ranks. And these bonuses, these incentives that are being mentioned in this uh, sonar were unheard of during the time of my mother. Especially in a situation where we are now uh, observing this water crisis, this becomes really unconscionable when you have incentives like this being enjoyed by the top hierarchy of the MWSS, especially the Board of Trustees, Mr. Speaker. So I am happy that finally the distinguished minority leaders agree that something like this must be looked into by the proper committee of uh, the House of We never said that the President's exposure on the MWSS was negligible or it should not be included in this order. That is the statement uh, of the distinguished gentleman from Paraná. What we only would like to convey in this August chamber is that these bonuses, these allowances were granted not only the higher ups in uh, MWSS, but including the rank of five, and they are anchored on legal grounds. The, the rank and five, Mr. Speaker, did the rank and five receive, uh, for example, uh, 14,000 allowance per meeting? Did the rank and five? Receive uh, grocery incentive? Did they receive uh, a potse, technical assistance, a hutang? Mr. Speaker? Dear Honor, uh, I will not uh, try to answer that adoration of a question. Because definitely the rank and file cannot get 14,000 in for attending a board meeting of the MWSS. How about a potse, Mr. Speaker? I am not aware whether but they precisely. Are but precisely, Your Honor, that's why we could have an investigation so that we could delve deeper into this uh, problem. But uh, at the moment, I am saying that they are born legally hungry. Well, that should have been the proper response. We look into this because uh, this is a very serious accusation. We're not talking here of outside figures. We are talking of a very unjust situation that should be investigated and uh, rectified, Mr. Speaker. Now, Mr. Speaker, let me just say that, say that uh, the majority should not impose on what kind of uh, uh, response the minority should make. I think uh, uh, the distinguished gentleman from Paranaque has truly not adjusted to the time of change. This uh, is <laughs> Like a minority. Mr. Speaker, this representation is a principal author of climate change. So I know what I'm talking about when I speak of climate change. The distinguished minority leader, as far as I know, is not even, I don't know, he's even a co-author or was even part of the bicameral conference committee. So I should know what climate change is all about. Now may I go to my next uh, topic, and this is uh, with regard to the 171.6 billion pesos debt of the NFA. Again, uh, I was listening to the news of figures and statistics uh, read by our distinguished minority leader. I don't remember whether this was addressed, uh, Mr. Speaker, whether it is correct that the NFA has uh, accumulated 171.6 million pesos in debt over the years. Well, Your Honor, because of the time limitation, because we wanted to uh, expound on the contrast subject immediately the following day, unlike the previous minority blocks, which waited for over a week to respond to the solar, 
That's why some of the data we are still trying to cut. But in due time, we will be able to disclose what a kidney fast is. Most probably, if we follow the, 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 the system of the previous minorities of uh, having a contact soda after a week, then we will be able to come up with that data. Uh, in other words, uh, there is no uh, rejoinder to one of the more serious uh, accusations made in this whole thing.